Hey guys, we're gonna keep going with um, warehouse management. What we're gonna take a look at today is a require receive. So we're gonna take the location uh, uh, east and we are gonna check off the require receive and we're gonna see how that affects the uh, PO received. So the idea here is that you have a PO and when you have a purchase order and you're receiving on a purchase order, you want purchasing department to work on the purchase order and you want the warehouse department to receive the purchase order. You don't want the warehouse department to get into the purchase order to receive the purchase order, right? So that's why it creates a separation here. So we have something called warehouse receipt that they can actually interact with <coughs> and then they can post the warehouse receipt so that <coughs> the receiving gets posted on the purchase order. So it's separation of duties right here. So here we have the purchasing department and here I have the warehouse department. And that's really what those check boxes are all about. By checking them off, you're creating more of a separation of departments, uh, separation of roles. And you get other like interesting things into this as well. For example, and we take a look at that later, you could have multiple purchase orders here and that could all be going onto one warehouse receipt and they could be receiving multiple purchase orders at once. So, but I'm not gonna show you that in this video. I'm just gonna show you the simple one and then maybe we'll move forward into more complicated ones. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and modify one of the locations. Um, first, what I need to set up is the warehouse employees. Uh, in the warehouse employee table, I gotta set up my user, I'm logged in as Paul, um, as an employee in the east location. I actually put that as my default location. I think that it needs to be one as the default one. Um, then we just close that out. So this setup needs to be set up, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see uh, the warehouse documents. And I'm gonna go into locations and I'll go into the east location. And here I'll actually set up the east location to require receive. So I check that off. Uh, and then I'm gonna go into a purchase order and show you the effect of that. And the idea here is that I'm issuing a document, um, purchase orders right here. I'm issuing a document for the warehouse. So the purchase order itself is not really for the warehouse. So to have the warehouse actually key in here, the, what they received is not ideal because they're looking at the cost, they're looking at a, lots of information that they just really don't care about. Um, so to minimize that, uh, you can go ahead and issue a purchase order and if you set up the location to require receive when you release the uh, purchase order you can go into actions warehouse create warehouse receipt and that creates a warehouse receipt for the warehouse that then the warehouse can be looking at so they would only be looking at warehouse receipts and <clears throat> that looks like this so the warehouse receipt has really only information that the warehouse needs to see nothing else. Here it's uh, what document it is, uh, how much we're expecting to see, uh, here is uh, how much is to be received, etc, etc. And then you can just go ahead and hit post, post the receipt, and now you have posted the inventory. Uh, I need to fix this uh, number series issue, but that's basically how it works. So it's fairly simple and and next time I'm going to show you how we actually do that with the shipment so we have a full walkthrough. Um, but as you can imagine, it's, it's, it's very similar.